Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Enter the Ether, the podcast all about the upcoming third-person MOBA ethereal Clash of Souls. I am your host, The Mangus. Joining me, as always, is my friend and co-host, Jelly Knees. How you doing, Jelly? I am doing fantastic, Mangus. Your hair I'm looks fantastic. So- I just know, now <laughs> notice that I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking for like 10 minutes, and I just looked up. I was like, damn, Jelly's hair looks good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> When we're off of the laptop camera and laptop microphone this week, we're back in the actual good camera, good microphone space, which feels good for me. <laughs> right on. It sounds a lot better. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I, I feel that because listening back to it, I was like, dear God, I will never do that again. <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so at the time of this recording, it's what, three days until the or at the time of this releases? Five, uh, four, technically. Do I release It'll this on Tuesdays on Tuesday, or Wednesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four days. So four days. Depending on how you count days, yes, four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, oh, it's so close. The stress test is so close. Dude, it's it's exciting and terrifying at the same time internally because we're sitting there going like, it'll be great, but what if it's terrible? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I hope it's great. I hope it's great. Yeah, absolutely. We do, too. <laughs> One of the they things I'm... stress test. So if you haven't signed up yet, still have a chance to do that. Uh, emails won't start going out until that morning to get you access, get into the whole thing. So it'll be exciting for that. And it's all random, except of course for patrons get booted up to the front of the line, which is appropriate. Yep, absolutely. And we've seen an influx of patrons as well, which is nice to see. And even we had a post that went out today as of recording, and. Even a bunch of people are like, this is the best Patreon post yet. And so it's exciting to see that kind of stuff be, be said. Oh, man. Right yeah. That post, I haven't looked at it yet. Mangus, you know, you, I literally you sent you a message. I sent you a me message to... saying, there's a post. You're going to want to see it. You know and what? This fan didn't read it. You know what I've been doing? Like, this has nothing Ethereum related, but the Overprimes competition with their uploading the thing i've been going through and like anybody who has done like any amount of work on their submission i've been giving them a like if you didn't do anything if you just recorded it you get no like but if there's like music in the background or you put some words in there there's music in the background you get you get a like you get a like for me I like how low the bar is it did you throw music <laughs> on there you're good there you go pretty Congrats. much that's what i said i was like if they put any effort whatsoever in i'm giving them a like <laughs> oh my gosh mr maga grux over here <laughs> And let's make Agora great again. Oh, it doesn't work with Elysium, though. It does not. It does not. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well, what we're going to be talking about tonight is with the influx of people that are going to be playing, there's going to be people playing some wild builds. They're going to play in, be playing some roles in lanes that we've never seen them being, being played before. I'm sure we're going to see stuff like Marina Jungle and noxus jungle and marina mid lane and talos support which i love to do but we're going to talk a little bit about that kind of thing um i specifically wanted to talk about some builds that i found were a little off kilter but actually worked out for me as well as roles that are a little off kilter that worked out really well for me yeah you know me i'm all about those kind of off meta weird kind of picks or builds that work so i love it the troll builds, are, that's the most fun part of any MOBA, I think, when you can <laughs> figure out some wacky build that actually ends up working out for you. That's, there's a thing in other MOBAs called Ultimate Bravery, where it randomizes the items and just gives you a random seven items. What? So, seven in Ethereal's case, so we, we should do that. We'll just get some Ultimate Bravery going, Mangoose. <laughs> <laughs> We could set it up somehow so it just randomly picks off of the webpage or we something. We can do customs in the stress test. We oh. can absolutely set up an ultimate bravery competition. Oh my god, I'm so down. I'm so down for that. If we can get ten more people to I'm come so down. to come in, come in with us. You, you heard it here, guys. Test. Hit us up. We want to do ultimate bravery. <laughs> I'll build something out over the next week before it happens to make sure that we have we have. Something oh my set up god, for this it. is going to be great. Just right. Ra- it's the. <laughs> <laughs> the most random ever instead of a ram that's just all random items i like that i like yeah, exactly. that a lot <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of these sort of troll builds one that i didn't think would work out and ended up working out fantastic is uh light magical lifesteal iran Ooh. holy shit Ooh. is that yeah. just brutal <laughs> like it's the kind of thing that i wouldn't think on the surface would be any good and there's only two real 
magical lifesteal items in the game. But just with those two items, you're constantly radiating that damage. Mm-hmm. So you're just constantly... It's like having like Chimera stacks just constantly. Yeah. You're just endlessly sapping. If you're doing damage, you're getting health back. Like, it's just all yeah. it is. It is and it, so much sustain. There's a reason it got swiftly nerfed after it was discovered. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those things of, like, magical lifesteal is strong on everybody, but especially Iran. Like, <laughs> just absolutely uh one of our testers fumo decided to just start building it and it was just like oh oh they, that's a problem that's not okay <laughs> like i'm a fed malaya that can do zero damage to iran because it's just healing it all back over time oh, crazy i'm pretty sure i played it post nerf like after it was nerfed and it was still really strong <laughs> yeah i mean it's we, we didn't want to absolutely get rid of it yeah but we wanted to bring it more in a state that it was actually <laughs> something you could combat if you were doing well in all these things yeah right because you could build uh we put it in a state that if iran is going magical lifesteal you build his the anti-heal items beating quartering's edge scorch phantom or forbidden book if you build any of those three items then it brings it down to a state where it's not just oppressive right right and that's those are also those same three items are direct counters to malaya for the same reason Right, is her healing is really strong if she gets yeah. ahead. Oh god. But yeah. if you build these items, I've had people that I'll go from destroying them one second to running away in fear just because this item turned on and I'm not <laughs> healing nearly as much as I was anymore. <laughs> I start fighting them halfway through, I'm like, why am I Oh, they have that item. Bye. Like <laughs> that that's another one that I that I enjoyed playing, but really wasn't all that great was off lane Malaya. Mm-hmm. Like she's really just better in the jungle. But yeah. it, it 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 was fun to try her out at least in in offlane. Just Talos is much stronger early game mm-hmm. until she gets some items and some levels and stuff, and that's usually who you're up against in the offlane. Yeah, I just got shredded by Talos trying to use her. I got I was hoping my life steal would sustain me through it and everything. Nah, nah. I've seen. I, I think that eventually Malaya offlane could work. If there were different offlane heroes, I think mm-hmm. the current, I think her big issue right now is the matchups in offlane are just always against her oh, in, God, yeah. in a straight one to one to one fight in the early game. Whereas if you, if once we get more characters added to the game and you have different offlaners, there's the potential she could be good in some matchups there. But yeah, the current matchups just absolutely dominate against her. So what are some troll builds that you've tried that either worked or didn't work? Uh, so I, the big two that come to mind is building 80 carry Noxus. And oh, it really? basically you just build all on hit items. Specifically, the one you go first is called Ring of Enchantment. Ring of Enchantment gives you attack speed, magical power, and then every basic that you hit deals additional magic damage. So you build that first. You get a little bit of everything that you want on Noxus if you're going this 80 carry build because you want that attack speed. Then you start building those bows and some other on-hit items, and you will just shred whoever you want. Because you drop your root, you throw your R on them, hits everybody that's rooted, and while they're rooted, you just spam basic attacks on them like nobody's business. What are they going to do about it? Nothing. They're rooted. So you just destroy people with that sometimes. And she has the longest basic attack range out of anybody right now, doesn't she? Uh, Either between her and Dante, but it's pretty close, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see that working great. That would be oh, so much fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> now, and in lane with Marina, where Marina charms, Noxus roots, and then it's just over. Oh, like there's oof. just there's just <laughs> nothing you can do about That's it. That's nasty. <laughs> now, how does it deal with towers though? Can you does it is it still like slapping a tower with a wet noodle, or do you destroy so towers? You you do more damage to towers because of Ring of Enchantment. Mm-hmm. The uh, the passive on it gives you extra damage to towers as well, so that helps clear some towers down. But until you get that item, you struggle a little bit because it's just a, it's hard to get those, that damage going. You really have to manipulate those waves in order to get a good crash onto a tower. I've been working on one. You know, I did those stupid little Paragon animations. I've been working on one for Ethereal. And that oh? was that was part of it was Noxus like a minion wave comes in and she's like, <laughs> and like the minion wave blows up. But then she just runs up to the tower, starts pat, 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 like its health, <laughs> its health bar isn't moving at all. Yes, that's, I can't wait to see this. That's what it feels like to play Nox, is just destroying everything except for towers. <laughs> except for towers. <laughs> uh, that build, I love, right? That's 
it against a Dante, it can go relatively even. He has the advantage early game because you're really dependent on that item for basic attack Noxus. But the other one that I've tried, which went horribly, and I mean like <laughs> the worst thing I have ever done in a game, and I mentioned it before, is play try to play ability power Malaya. No, 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 do not. If I start seeing you people build the ability power Malaya, I will be so angry. <laughs> I, because I'm, oh, I'll, I'll tell you, I tried it myself. No, it. You would think that it would work great. It doesn't. Nope. Does she just <laughs> so not scale bad. well? Like what is like what's going so on there? Her only. So the two things that scale with ability power, in terms of effectiveness, are her passive. So her passive damage scales okay. with ability power. So every six hits, she does extra damage, and her shield. So she gets a bigger shield with her ability power. The problem is that that doesn't give her any damage yeah. uh, past her passive. And so her clear slows down. So her first item slows down. And for that, you also need that ring of enchantment because you want attack speed on her still. And so needing to wait to even longer to get that first item on her is just, it just doesn't do it. <laughs> if you got super ahead and then the first couple minutes got a handful of stack, right, your right click, your special ability stacks yeah. off, maybe you could do it. But you'd have to be so far ahead, and it would still put you in a relatively like even state to everybody else. It wouldn't give you that lead that you have built up because of it. Whereas if you get a couple special ability stacks on her and go normal damage, you will just win the game because that's how she's built. That's how she's supposed to be played. Right? Is the ultimate feast or famine myth. I I do love ring ring of the void on her. I know that one that was not. Mm one of her recommended but the ring of void what it does is it gives you a seven seven percent um true health burn over like mm -hmm. what five seconds i think it is i think it's somewhere around there yeah well and that's applied with ability hit and man that chunks some people down like pretty, that's an item yeah if you're playing marina and you build ring of void Ooh, you drop that pool on an enemy team and just all of them get yeah, hit they're by all it. burning that y'all that is so, so much good. damage <laughs> I mean, it doesn't happen immediately, and like you're just refreshing it when you're, you're not stacking it. You're just refreshing it when you hit hit more abilities. But man, mm -hmm. it's enough. Just one one hit of it is enough, especially coming out of Marina. You're not expecting seven percent of your health bar to be taken away from. Yeah, and something if you want to sustain your own health as Marina without needing to spam Qs, uh, if you build Epic Hat, Epic Hat is one of the starting items. It's passive, is it gives you. Omnivamp, so it's just general healing against uh, for any damage you do. Mm -hmm. She drops that on a minion wave. Every tick of damage is giving her one health from every minion in the wave. Ooh, wow. So she can sustain herself hardcore. I did that the other day, and I was like, this is amazing. I love just dropping one ability and being full health again, right? Like, let's go <laughs> everywhere together. <laughs> Maybe that'll be part of my offlane marina build. <laughs> oh, there you go. Do it. <laughs> uh, that kind of takes us into... Um sort of the the weird sort of picks i really love iran support i'm going to put the iran my iran support footage in in uh over top of us as, as we're talking but <laughs> magically <laughs> but um and i didn't fare very well that game at all but it's because his grab was disabled for the um for the streamer event the uh, extra life event mm -hmm. but e even without that even without his grab my my adc was pretty much ungankable every time they would try and dive in on him i would just fear and it was done gank mm -hmm. over everybody's feared and running away it was so easy just right click and, and and you end a gank and then like i have played iran support before before that when they had his grab enabled and holy shit anybody mm -hmm. comes past that mid lane midway point of the lane you just grab them, fling them under your tower, and they're screwed. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, Ron is a stupid good support. He doesn't get his stacks. Like, you don't get the stacks of damage and, and health for him. But... but his utility in CC is just through the yeah, roof. So holy he can crap. definitely be played as a support. Similarly to Talos, if someone steps up too far, you just kick, knock them up, and what are they going to do about it? You got so, you land so much consistent damage on them just because they stepped out of line. Right. And I think that's the big thing, kind of the reason we're okay with Talos and Iran being played as supports, it, even though I wouldn't do it, right? But it's we're we're okay with them existing that way, is because they're not just 
they're not free wins being supports, right? It still requires the enemy team to step out of line. It still requires, it requires some kind of other force to be able to utilize that combo, just like Marina, just like the actual support we have in the game, right? To use her charm, they have to get close to her. To right. deal damage with R, they have to be there. To, like there, there's still these conditions that have to be met to land those strong abilities. But when they are landed, they are then really rewarded at the same time. Oh yeah. I, I, I often say that I like the, the playmaking supports more than a healing type support. Marina is a healing type support. She can make plays, of course, but I think Talos and Iran are far more of a playmaking sort of all-in style support. But um, I <laughs> I did I did pick Talos as support against an Iran support, and that was ha absolute hell. That was a nightmare. That was just like <laughs> straight up hard counter because as Talos to get to get anything done, I got to be able to get close to the enemy. As soon as I get close to the enemy, Iran grabs me and chucks yep. me under the tower. And that that's exactly the. That's the rock, paper, scissors we want in the game, right? Is great. Talos support strong? Play Iran. Oh, Iran is really strong? Play Marina, where you can sit back and just hang out and just deal damage from afar. Like, there are answers to each of the things right. as they go through. And, like, again, you can't really save people with Talos and Iran as well as you can with Marina. Like, if Iran grabs somebody, chucks them under a tower, Marina can shield that person enough that they can get away. Mm -hmm. uh, another kind of off meta pick has been that we've seen recently is the Leah off lane. Yeah. And I've heard about that dominating in the off lane. And part oh, of really? that's part of that's because the matchup is new to people, right? So they're not used to playing against Leah directly. Um, but Leah, because of the way she was set up, she was able to sit at range, clear minions effectively, stack her passive and heal all at the same time just using her abilities, and then if her jungler showed up, she jumps in the air, jumps down, lands on the person, free gank. Like, she sets up the ganks for herself, right? essentially, um, which has been really interesting to see, and we actually had to alter her slightly to make her more balanced in a lane and in the jungle at the same time, because it was it was getting to the point where Leah in lane was a hundred times better than Leah in the jungle. Right. You don't want that. And so we had to adjust her ranges and adjust her damages in certain ways to bring her more so that you could play her in lane, but there, she's slightly better in the jungle, which is where she's intended, for lack of a better way to put it. I could also see, like, when you're off lane, a lot of times if, you're ta if, you're, if your lanes are pushed up or whatever, you want to just go grab a camp real quick. It's so much easier with Leah, because you just fly over to it. The yep. other person's got to walk. <laughs> Well, Leah just flies over to the camp, clears it, flies on back to lane like nothing happened. No happen. big deal right there, dude. Yeah, no, <laughs> she's she's crazy. But uh, honestly, I mean, I know Skifter has played Dante Jungle and performs decently with it. Uh, oh, really? With his with his grenade, he can clear camps fairly quickly if you max his grenade first, or you line you can line up the camp to get a solid Q off and then hit all three of the minions or four, however many are in that camp. Yeah. And so he's able to do not the best clear, but a decent clear. And then having that role helps him initiate ganks a little bit better or line up ganks a little bit better. And so it was it was decent. I wouldn't say it was like the best jungler in the game, <laughs> but it by it wasn't any AP Malaya. So I guess we just can put it higher, slightly higher on the tier list than that. You mean uh, AP Marina, right? No, no, I mean AP Malaya. AP oh, really? Malaya jungle. It's, Dante jungle is better than AP Malaya jungle. There's oh, no really? Question. <laughs> no question. That's how bad AP Malaya jungle well, is. God, she does. <laughs> does she? Her abilities don't really do a lot of damage. Just her. It's just her. Her right click. Her. Or, I mean, her R. Her. Her speed boost thing. What do you want her to dash? Call it? Dash. Her dash deals damage. Her mm -hmm. bleed deals damage. Yep. Everything else is basic attack based, yeah. and her passive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could totally see that then. Like if the if the only thing you're boosting really is your dash, then. And a little bit of bleed. Yeah, no, it does. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, there, I'm sure there's plenty of matchups we haven't seen. I heard, was it you that was saying you wanted to play Talos Marina? Somebody's been wanting to play Talos yes, Marina. Yes, that was my bad. I forced Bearded into that. I thought Bearded had more experience with Talos. I kind of wish I would have had him go Marina and I would have gone Talos for that. <laughs> I think it would work really well. I think. Having Talos as, as the carry and Marina supporting, I think that would work really well. But 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Bearded, Bearded had zero clue how to play Talos, so it kind of backfired on us a bit. Um, we've seen some Talos jungle coming through recently, which has been nice. Because I love Talos jungle. I think it's fun. It's not as quick to start as the other junglers, but it is still doable. And if you can get going, being able to have Aron and Talos on your team effectively is really useful. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, here's one thing I keep meaning to ask, and it's completely off topic. <laughs> is there a field of view slider in the game? There's not currently. Okay. Because Bearded's, Bearded's footage, it looked like he was closer. Like his camera was closer to Dante than my camera was closer to Marina. Maybe it was just the way he... His stream was set up or something? I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to look into it and see. I haven't. I actually haven't seen that. So it's. I'll have to look and see what it is and what was different. That's one complaint I've seen a few times, though, is that the, uh, the myths look a little too small on screen. Interesting. Okay. That's, that, I, that's... I kind of agree with it. I mean, the view that you see, like the view I'm seeing from Marina, that's the view I want to see whenever I cast an ability. I want mm. it to be in. Whenever I go to cast ability, it zooms out. And then comes back in. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things we're working on is getting that camera positioned a little bit more and then having those abilities move the camera depending on what's going on and all that stuff as well. Cool. And then I want x-ray kills. Um, if you guys could do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. If we do some bullet time whenever I dodge something. Bullet time, yeah. You want some... Uh, <laughs> what is it? You want some... Uh, Aim assist right there, Mangoose, where you just left click and the bullet spins around to make sure and hit whoever you're aiming at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every ten minutes, I want the lanes to shift altitude. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me let me get right on that for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know the, the idea that I did think of that I think is really cool. There's no river in Fire or Ice, right? Correct. Well, correct. Okay. Now, I say this with all love. But the caves, the fire, and the ice cave look like shit sticking out the side of fire and ice lane. Uh-huh. Turn that into a dragon, dragon's head, like a wyvern's head, and have the river flow from one side and then out the mouth, and then down to void. Okay, I could see it. <laughs> uh, that's not a lot of work, so you should be able to oh, get yeah, it done Oh yeah, no, not quick. at all. You know what, I'll just, I'll just call up our map designers and be like, hey, you know what, Mangus had this great idea. <laughs> I would love to see it on my desk tomorrow. Thanks. Wouldn't that be cool, though, if there was waterfalls coming oh, off the side lanes from, like, a river I, coming absolutely. off the side lanes? I mean, maybe not do a dragon's head and it coming out of the dragon's mouth, but if you do. No, you heard it here, level designers. Blame mangoes. <laughs> but I share the 10% of anything you guys uh, get for that idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I always have to get my 10%. Everybody does. No, 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 not everybody. Just you and me. <laughs> not sock app, that's right. That's right, who was not that? Sock cap. Who was that? Stunt? Stunt or bearded? I don't remember. One of them. Might have, yeah, it might have been bearded. It sounds like something I would say to bearded that he's not going to get shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, Ben. But yeah, I mean, I can't think of any other crazy. I'm sure there's one I'm missing. Uh, a Ron Jungle has actually proved in, proven to be ridiculously strong. Yeah, I figured he would be a jungler. I. I thought he would be a jungler from the beginning because of his berserker status. Mm -hmm. Man, that's going to change things a lot, too. Now that the Reaper and the berserker passives are going to be in the game. Mm -hmm. like, it's going to be a whole it's new gonna game. Basically, those two classes can open up almost infinite possibilities of gank potential for each other. Yeah. Right? And so if you're pushed up by any means, you could think, okay, I have all the way back to my tower. I'm clear. No, you're not, because they can come up and over the wall or bust the wall down, and you're just not safe anymore. Yeah. Ooh. It's it's going to change the game a lot, I'm sure. I think Stunt said it best. Like, the time absolutely flies when you're playing Ethereal, and I think it's because mm -hmm. you're constantly engaged. There's never a time where you're like, oh, I'm just, just over here farming minions. No, you're always farming like, minions, you know? was that Leah Shadow? Did I see Leah Shadow? <laughs> no, that, no, that was something else. That was something else, you know. Dude, the panic that sets in when you see Leah's shadow over oh, you see like the slightest feather fly by on your screen was that Leah? Like, <laughs> yeah. a, like a PTSD almost of Leah's jumping in on you. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it is scary. I, I think it's awesome that you guys do have her shadow in there because you can see her coming. Sometimes you see the shadow on the ground. It's like, oh shit, let's uh -huh. get ready. <laughs> 
unless you're playing a run support, then you're just like, yeah, come on in. I'll just right click and then do it. Yeah, no big deal. Bye, you know? <laughs> Bye everybody. <laughs> So for all of you that are going into the stress test, because now I know a bunch of people are going to be playing a Ron support, the bane of my existence. It's because it's uh, badass. Malaya's shield is immune to CC until it's destroyed. So she can't get grabbed and she can't get feared. I'm just putting that out there for you junglers. <laughs> Please, God, don't just run in and not use your shield. <laughs> and don't just use your shield to absorb damage and only and only that. Oh I see God. that a lot. I see that <laughs> uh -huh. a lot. No, you gotta use that. Whenever I go into a fight with a chalice, shit. I'm just like, and nope, you can't kick me. Thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> does if he kicks the shield, is he allowed to use the knockup afterwards? Yes. So it still does count as him connecting the ability mm. because damage is still dealt, but just the CC is not applied to Malaya. Okay. So he can still use the knockup then thereafter. Um, the what I've seen a lot is you'll get a kick. He'll use his Q twice, which usually breaks down the shield. And then he'll uppercut so he can land that actual second part of the CC on Malaya. Oh, okay, right on. There you go, Talos mains. The counter to the thing I just said counters <laughs> Iran. I got you. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to tell you guys right now, too. If you're playing Talos, if you do play Talos in the stress test, you have stamina. You don't have mana. Use that shit. Mm-hmm. Like there, there's a minion wave. Don't sit there just killing them one by one. Go R, sweep through with your, with your bleed, Q the front part of the wave, Turn the fuck around, cue the other part of the wave. Wave cleared. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you get um, all that gold. You didn't have to sit there and <laughs> wait for last hits. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. That that was uh, a mistake I saw a lot of Talos people making is they didn't they seem to be afraid to use their abilities. And it's like you're you're not gonna run out of mana. Like <laughs> Yeah. Just back up for a couple seconds, regen, you're yeah. back in the fight. No big deal. <laughs> Yeah, super good. I, I can't wait to see what people do during the stress test. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Malaya play that I see that I just die a little bit inside, but it's fine. I'll be fine, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that kind of ties into our weird builds thing. I have discovered that mana regen items work on Talos splendidly. <laughs> like, <laughs> like his, his stamina regen is pretty quick anyway. If you get just mm -hmm. one mana regen item on Talos, it's like... You, you use all your stamina, here it comes. Use yep. it all, here it comes. It's You can just queue forever. You can just walk around oh queuing across the map, and not, it's like nothing ever happens. All right, I'm going to tell Skifter to remove that right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Don't tell him. <laughs> if Mangoose mana regen doesn't work on Talos. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. I can deal with that. Just don't take that happiness away from others. I, I will try not to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Do you have anything else to talk about, Jelly? I think that's it for me, Mangoose. I'm just excited for the stress test to see what other people think, get as many people in as possible, the whole nine. Same here. And I, I hope after that stress test, we're breaking out the kazoos and not mm -hmm. not and not the tissues to wipe away tears. Agreed. Yeah, well, I, I will go out and buy kazoos just to celebrate if, if it Wait, goes why would well. you? I thought you just had bags and bags of kazoos just on I mean, hand. I do, but that doesn't mean that I know where they are since I moved. <laughs> I imagine this giant box that's just labeled <laughs> kazoos. And I mean, we're approaching National Kazoo Day, so, you know, it's possible. So I gotta break them out. Somebody's like, what's in this box? Holy shit, it's actually kazoos. Like, just <laughs> all kazoos. Just mark I H mean, on there for Hornet. I feel like anybody that knows me knows that that's just a possibility. <laughs> opening boxes would just be like, yeah, that tracks. Like, just whatever. <laughs> All right. <hold> on. <laughs> okay. All right, Jill. You got anything to plug? Uh, just that I'm starting streaming again tonight as of when we're recording. I'm doing Marvelous Monday. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we'll be doing that again. So I'll be doing that at the minimum every Monday, being Marvelous Monday and all those things. But, Angus, what about you? What are you up to? I'm going to go watch you play Marvelous Monday. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I was going to go play some Fault, but uh, nope. I'm going to go watch Marvelous Monday. Yeah. God, man. Jeez. <laughs> get, a real, get a real game. Now go, go read the Patreon post. Where to oh, God. God, yeah. I'll, okay, I'll read that first, all right? I'll do it. <laughs> Jelly's going to beat me up. He's going to somehow sabotage my marble. I know it. I'll send a box of kazoos to your house. <laughs> well, that would just be a reward. <laughs> I could always use Is it kazoos. though? Is it though? Mm, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, folks. That's going to do it for this week. Um, if you get to the stress test, you try some weird shit out, 
let us know about it. Let us know how it goes for you so that we can start using your build too if it's incredibly successful. If you use somebody, you know, if you go Dante Jungle, if you go Marina Jungle or something like that, let us know how it worked out. But uh, until then, I hope you all join us as we enter the ether. Mangoose! Shout out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter, Jelly Knees, Meow Mix for Men, Stunt, and Ferret.